What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Afan, and today we'll be watching the third Pirates of the Caribbean movie called, uh, what's it called? Here we go. At World's End. Pirates of the Caribbean, or Caribbean, World's End. All right, the previous movie was a really good movie. I thought it was better than the first one. Some of you disagreed, some of you agreed, and that's why I'm here. Share your opinions. I'm gonna watch this one and then let you know where, you know, this one falls, you know, better, worse, middle, you know? But anyways, if you want to see the full length reaction, which is kind of like a watch along where you play your copy of the movie, if you sync it with my video, which will be available on Patreon, link in the description to my Patreon, and we watch the whole thing together, you know? Lovely times. And also these videos are available earlier on Patreon as well. And the full length reaction and the early access, by the way, applies to pretty much every single video that I do. So yeah, they left it on a pretty banging cliffhanger. I mean, the ending to that movie was so good. And I think that is the reason why I like that movie so much, because the ending was just spectacular. The action, the music, everything was just spectacular. Splendid. The reveal at the end with Barbosa and quite a cliffhanger to leave us on because, uh, you know, there's they need a captain and well, there you go. Barbosa is going to be the captain. There's some going on with Tia Dalma. I'm not entirely sure, but I think I might be on to them. If I am, then great. If I'm not, then I'm going to look like an idiot. But... <laughs> It's not going to be the first time that happens, so it's all right, yeah? But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, Lizzie, what she does with Jack, it's pretty cunning, you know? I'm like, I hate you, but I love you at the same time. Because that is just what a pirate would do. And ever since she was a little child, she wanted to be a pirate, you know? You get like a, the opening shot of her in the first movie is her singing about how she wants to be a pirate. Actually, speaking of opening shots, the opening shot with Jack Sparrow in the first movie, mm, that was amazing. But yeah, without any further, I do. Here we go at World's End, Pirates of the Caribbean. In order to effect a timely halt to deteriorating conditions and to ensure the common good, a state of emergency is declared for these territories by decree of Lord Cutler Beckett, duly appointed representative. Beckett, don't like that guy. Right, then. Okay, what a lovely start. Okay, wow. How many? Oh my god. Or aiding a person convicted of piracy or associating with a person convicted of piracy shall be sentenced to hang by the neck until dead. Oh wow. So yeah, that includes Lizzie's father too then? Wasn't he like the governor? Or so That's a little child. Wait, really? At least they're accommodating. And they're stomping their feet too. They've started to sing, sir. Is Beckett deaf? If not, then he can hear, bro. Captain Obvious, is that your name? <laughs> oh, not the child. All right, Pirates of the Caribbean. At world's end. What a opening. So Beckett is determined, eh? To track them all down. Hang them one by one. Get rid of the plague. The black curse. Even if it means killing children. Lizzie, let's go. So they're not wearing blue? Didn't they wear red before? The soldiers, I mean. That's kind of cool, you know? Yo -ho. Yo ho, it's the same song. Dangerous song to be singing for any who are ignorant of its meaning, particularly a woman. Ooh, how do you know she's ignorant? Uh -huh. Oh, wow, I was just gonna say, how do you know she's alone? You protect her? <laughs> I bring my own protection. Pulls a condom out. <laughs> Yeah, dickheads are all on the same side of the law. The law. <laughs> so work together rather than against each other. Made a rhyme. Should start rapping. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, that's that. Man, this guy's become like a proper 
important character, you know? I, as someone who I thought would be like a side dude. Is the main dude, well, not the main, but like an important dude, you know? We keep seeing him. Wait, can he see with his wooden eye? That's a wooden eye, right? Or he, did he get a real one? <laughs> Tia Dalma. Hoi. Where are they? Do you think because she is a woman, we would not suspect her of treachery? Well, considering what she did at the end of the last movie, you should definitely suspect her of treachery. <laughs> he moved. Please. <laughs> Such a creepy laugh. It's all right, man. Wait, she's wearing no pants? Why? I know I said remove, but they wanted to check, right? They could put it back on. Or she could put it back on. <laughs> Welcome to Singapore. Ah. Right. You've clearly never been to Singapore, eh? Oh my god. I could hear his fat. Do you know what I mean? That was weird. I've a venture underway and I find myself in need of a ship and a crew. It's an odd coincidence. Because earlier this day, not far from here, a thief broke into my most revered uncle's temple and tried to make off with these. The navigation of charts. The route to the farthest gate. <laughs> Will Turner. Is his face familiar to you? No, not at all. Then I guess he has no further need for it. Kill him! Uh-oh. Well... Hang, I assure you, I had no idea. That he would get caught! Bingo. That's exactly what he had no idea about. The song has been sung. The time is upon us. We must convene the brethren. More steam. <laughs> More steam. It seems the only way a pirate can turn a profit anymore is by betraying other pirates. Yep, that's exactly what Lizzie did too. By Lord Cutler Beckett. Against the East India trading. Oh. You can fight. Get off me. You're not an agent. <laughs> and now it's the man. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so his wooden eye works? Okay. I thought it was just an eye. Oh, like, just a thing there, sitting there. <laughs> Doesn't actually see through it. Jack Sparrow holds one of the nine pieces of eight. <laughs> uh, nine pieces of eight? What does that even mean? Weapons! Weapons! I assure you, our intentions are strictly honorable. Hmm. Drop your weapons! But I kill your man! He's not our man. If he's not with you, and he's not with us, who's he with? The bro, oh, those guys. All right, lovely. It's a three-way. Let's go. <laughs> hmm. Nice. Oh no. Lovely. Got him. Very well done, Tia. Uh oh. You cross Baboza. You are willing to cross Jack Sparrow. Why should I expect any better? I need the Black Pearl to free my father. Yeah. See, this is what I was saying. These characters are becoming more independent, have their own plans and shit. You know, Lizzie did the same. He's doing the same now. Got a separate mission of his own. Fire in the hole! Are fireworks? Oh, well then. That's gonna make all of them go off. Yeah! <laughs> Lovely! Happy New Year! <laughs> 
Hold the snotters with a will. <laughs> if only everybody had a will turner they could hold him with. There's an evil and you sees that even the most staunch and bloodthirsty pirates have come to fear. What is that? What's the evil? Davy Jones? Who's, by the way, quite a badass villain. Well, was. Is he still here? The, the thing came out, so I assume he's still here. That's the Flying Dutchman, right? Another one down. A piece of eight. Nine of them, you say? A piece of eight are nine? What are you saying? Better keep this between ourselves. We don't want anyone running off to see what caught them today. Oh. Your new station deserves an old friend. Norrington. Well, I guess technically our father didn't really help her, you know? This dude. The Sparrow. The High Sparrow. The Very High Sparrow. <laughs> Shivering monkey. I'm sure there must be a good reason for us up <laughs> Stretching on forever. Uh -huh, I feel bad for that monkey. It looks so cute shivering though. <laughs> Look at it. A little dress it has on. <laughs> Very good. Oh my god. Ever gazed upon the green flash, Master Gibbs? Happens on rare occasion. The last glimpse of sunset, a green flash shoots up into the sky. Some claim to have seen it awake, and some say it signals when a soul comes back to this world from the dead. Sorry. Trust me, young master. <laughs> All right, the other dude was speaking over him in the last one, so he gets to do that now in this one. Are the sails frozen too? I don't know if they move it, they could break. Just like his toe. You could say he's holding his toes now. Bloody hell, there's nothing left. Jones is a loose cannon, sir. Oh, he's got loose cannons as well. That's the music that Davy Jones was playing in the last one, right? Oh yeah, plays the piano with his beard tentacle thingies. Yeah, there it is. Are they gonna reveal who that's supposed to be for? I mean, I think I know, but you know, let's see if I'm right or if I'm right. <laughs> I'm probably wrong. He's capable of crying? Actual emotion? Now that's more like it. Angry. Mm. That's what he did, right? <laughs> these guys. I love the fact that they keep reappearing like these side or what seemed like side characters, you know? The heart or crab thingies there as well. So what's in his chest? <laughs> his heart. I mean, like his actual chest. What's is the heart's not there? What the f- <laughs> the rest of the way. That's how long. What? You can't stare at each other for too long either? Gotta look away? I know it's awkward, but come on. Wait, she feels guilty because she betrayed him. This guy thinks she loves him or something because he saw her, 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 both of them kiss each other, right? There is a cast must be appeared in the end. I'm telling ya, I'm telling ya, I called in the last one. Good and lost now. Lost? For certain you have to be lost to find the places can't be found. That kind of makes sense. But I mean, if you can find it, it's still a place that is findable. It doesn't make it unfindable. Even if you don't know where it is. Hodor! Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, they're gone. Well then, that's lovely. Now this is the real Flying Dutchman. <laughs> Dead men tell no tales. What about the cursed ones? That's Jack. Oh, that's Jack. He can smell a peanut. <laughs> they shot him. Yup. This is the place where he gets punished, right? That's what Tia said. The ant. <laughs> yeah. Step lively. Have a will. 
<laughs> They're all him. <laughs> He'll hear the neck. So that goat is him too? Begging your pardon, sir. But perhaps if you gave him in another chance. There's so many of you. Gentlemen, I wash my hands of this weirdness. That's the real one? Oh, they're not in the ocean. No wind. Of course there's no bloody wind. <laughs> there's no water either. Is that a rock or an egg? No, that's a rock. I thought it was an egg. It's a back. <laughs> so one more time. The rock. The rock? Dwayne Johnson. Back. It's a crab. Come on, bro. I really think you can pull that? He is a bit delusional, but really? That much? <laughs> These are all crabs. Yeah. Just like Jack. Just as there are many Jacks, there are many crabs. The ship's moving. It's a crossbow on his hat, yeah? Is that like a bird? It looks like a plus. So the crabs are moving. <laughs> the ship. Witchy Jack. These are all the crabs. There he is. Well, hold on. What? I thought he was in like a different realm or something, but no. Kind of like Harry Potter. You know when he dies and he's like in the middle somewhere? Impossible. Impossible. And. Oh. Yeah. Out. So it was the crabs that um moved him? I can slap you thrice. I don't know much about your mama, though. Or does she actually have feelings for him? Because the compass I now remembered pointed at Jack in the previous movie. I'm talking about Lizzie. You're in Davy Jones' locker, Captain. I know that. I know where I am. Do you? Jack Sparrow. Oh, Hector! You shot me. No, I didn't. <laughs> he thinks we're a hallucination. Have you come because you need my help to save a certain distressing damsel? Or rather, damsel in distress? <laughs> <laughs> well, that damsel is no longer in distress and neither does she need help, man. She's a badass now. This is real. We're here. <laughs> As for you... Don't tell me you didn't enjoy it at the time. Fair enough, all right, you're in. <laughs> you, you scare me. <laughs> Cotton? Cotton's parrot, I'm a little iffy. Well, at least I'll have someone to... It'll do, yeah. Where do your allegiances lie? With the highest bidder. I have a ship. Perfect. That makes you the highest bidder. Way anchor, all hands. Better make sail. <laughs> and it's going kids up again. So, Jack doesn't want anything. He wants everything. Is that what it is? Or does he want the ocean? Because the ocean is all around. Stow it! Not both of you! That's an order! Understand! <laughs> Sorry. I just thought with the captain issue in doubt, I'd throw in my name for consideration. <laughs> I'd vote for you. Hey, you shot a shot, right? <clears throat> hey, come on. It's not the size that I'm... That matters. <laughs> oh, lovely. You thought I loved him. If you make your choices alone, how can I trust? Mm. You can't. Pirate! That's the life he chose. So they've got like a court and stuff. It's kind of weird because I thought pirates like didn't like all that, like order and all that. I guess they do. No, dead people or mermaids? Or dead mermaids? <laughs> I wonder what would happen if you dropped a cannonball on one of them. You wanna try? Oh wow, they're actually trying. Be disrespectfully, Wood. This should be in the care of David Jones. That was the duty he was charged with by the goddess Calypso. To 
ferry doors who die at sea to the other side. And every 10 years, him could come ashore to be with she who love him truly. It is her, absolutely. Now let's just throw us off with a little thing at the end. It was a man. Ah, uh, yeah, cool. These are all those that were hanged? Father! Elizabeth, are you dead? Not yet. I'll give your love to your mother, shall I? Well, he did say he's no longer of any use, so... Rum's gone, too. Mm. <laughs> I like how they say Rum's gone, too, and they do a close-up on Lizzie. <laughs> Up is down. Well, that's just maddeningly unhelpful. <laughs> Clear as mud, Jackie. What? Hey? There's one of them made it out. Sail the seas for eternity. I love the sea. What about Paul? I prefer rum. Rum's good. <laughs> Come sunset, it won't matter. Not sunset. Sundown. And rise. Up. <laughs> These reactions are hilarious. The hell? Oh my god. We're rocking the ship! I was thinking, are they trying to rock the ship? Tight top of the mast. Upside down, so when the boat flips, we'll be the right way up. Oh. <laughs> These guys. <laughs> almost. Almost. Hey. <laughs> okay. A good thing. Oh, I was going to say it's a good thing there's a net, but the net. Probably killed him because I think he would have been fine in the water. Excuse me, upside down. Did the right side up? It worked. <laughs> Where are they now? This was your idea. <laughs> We're back. Are you? Sunrise. Yeah, it might be a different place. <laughs> if we don't stand together, they'll hunt us down one by one to the beyond left. But you quite like the sound of that. Captain Jack Sparrow, the last pirate. I you'll <laughs> Oh, yeah. We can still use them as clubs. It only just now got them. Yep, just testing. <laughs> Why don't you both go ashore and leave the ship in my command temporarily? <laughs> oh, and it's black. Got a whale or a ship? The world used to be. A well, still the same. It's just less in it. Wow, that's quite profound, you know. I like that. You know what? I might use that. Hey! We got company. East Indian Company. East India Company. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, but wet powder. What about the guns shouldn't work, right? No? Jack Sparrow, you paid me great insult once. That doesn't sound like me. Hmm. Deserved? <laughs> I need the pearl to free my father. That's the only reason I came on this voyage. Why didn't you tell me you were planning this? Hmm. It's my button to bear. Hmm. Uno reverse card, eh? Did no one come to save me just because they missed me? <laughs> A couple of people did. A monkey's just mimicking. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jack, but there is an old friend who wants to see you first. Beckett. But you and I are no strangers to betrayal, are we? No. It's not here, Jack. 
What? What isn't? <laughs> that thing that you're looking for, Jack? And if Davy Jones... So we on the mark. You agreed. The Black Pearl was to be mine. And so it was. Hmm. <laughs> Max stabbing all around. That's lovely. Regarding the Brethren Court, no doubt. In exchange for... <laughs> Fair compensation. What is the purpose of the nine pieces of eight? To confuse you, that's the purpose of it. Nine pieces of eight. The Black Pearl was to be mine. Lord Beckett's not going to give up the only ship as can hunt on the Dutchman, is he? Backstabbers getting backstabbed? Mm, to honor the cold brethren, isn't it? Yeah. Because honor's a hard thing to come by nowadays. Yes. No honor to remain there with the losing side. Living it for the winning side. Just good business. Mm, true. And what do the Brethren have? We have Calypso. That's who ordered Davy Jones to take care of those bodies, right? But didn't. What are you proposing, Captain? What be accepted? Can the girl. What? I've just recalled. I've got one. side by side. Four captains making this deal. It points to the thing you want most. And that is not the brother in court, is it? Then what is, Jack? Me? Done. What? You put us into this mess. If this is what frees us, then done. <laughs> if I kill you, then I can use the compass to find Shipwreck Cove, is it? Because he'll be dead already. Yeah. Also, the thing doesn't work with Jack. It points all over. Then we have an accord. The Sokovian Accord? <laughs> or Honda, Honda Accord. And then you'd be wishing, oh, if only there was someone I had not killed inside to ensure that the pirate. <laughs> you may kill me, but you may never insult me. Who am I? I'm Kevin Jack Sparrow. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. All right, two deals between four most untrustworthy captains. You're mad. Thank goodness for that, because if I wasn't, this would probably never work. <laughs> he really is mad. A mad scientist. <laughs> mad genius. And that was without even a single drop of rum. <laughs> Lovely. How soon can we have the ship ready to pursue? Well... Do you think he plans it all out? <laughs> Just makes it up as he goes along. Just make, makes it up as he goes along, I think. Because a lot of the things that he does, uh, you know, require a bit of luck. What, are they getting like married or something? By this time tomorrow, we will arrive at Shipwreck Cove and you will be free. Calypso. Excuse me? She's Calypso? The first Brethren Court, whose decision I would have opposed. They bound you to human form. So the rule of the seas would belong to me. Okay, I like that smile. Because that means she's playing along now. She's caught on. Alright, so she's not Calypso, yeah? Or is she? I offer simply my desire. And in return? I would have your gifts. Should you choose to give them? And if I should choose not? I will take your fury. Whoa, what a shot! Right on cue as well. With all nine pieces of eight, you will be free. You are captain now. Is it one of those things where she is, but she just doesn't know? Captain Elizabeth Swan Calypso. Lovely. Uh oh. Not my captain. Hashtag not my captain. Noddington. See how she didn't hug him? <laughs> it can't be true. He returned to England. They made you think he returned to England. Yeah. What do you name us Captain? Captain. <laughs> I swear, I did not know. Know what? Which side you chose? The right side, obviously, or so he thinks. I'm a bit disappointed in Davy Jones, though. Bootstrap. Uh. Bill Turner. No. Bootstrap. You know my name. There he is. 
Yes, I know your son, Will Turner. I was gonna be your daughter-in-law, but here we are. And now he sends you to tell me that he's coming to get me. Well, not exactly, but yeah, he is coming to get you. Yeah. <laughs> tell him not to come. Tell him to stay away. Tell him it's too late. I'm already a part of the shit. Literally, look at that. coming for me wait and see it resets when he goes in the wall thingy okay yeah bootstrap turner let someone else dispatch charles who <laughs> <laughs> this guy's an amazing actor i love him you have to do the job though jack you have to ferry souls to the next world or end up just like charles i don't have the face for tentacles Mm, well, we got two right there. What's this for? Think like me, and I'll come to you. <gasps> that bad, huh? Lovely. My regards to Davy Jones. I hate him. Mm, we should hate him, but we love him. <laughs> Quickly. No, Rington. <laughs> he has chosen his side, eh? What are we doing? Choosing sides? Choosing a side. Oh, let's go. He's not part of the deal. Go. I will follow. You're lying. No. Our destinies have been entwined, Elizabeth, but never joined. And just like that, Norrington is yes, Rington. <laughs> oh, no. Rington. Part of the crew partnership. Oh, he's not going. Oh, no. Rington. No. Rington. <laughs> oh, come on. They killed him. You bastards. James Norrington. Do you fear undazed? Nice. But he can't die, though. I take that as a no. That is that sword that Will made, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 it is. All right, cool. Is father going to get the sword? That'd be kind of nice. You know, he makes a sword. Not for his father, but his father ends up owning it. I once sailed with a geezer, lost both of his arms, part of his eye. What'd you call him? Larry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I didn't laugh at that. Because it was funny. Come on, man. It took nine pirate lords to find you, Calypso. And it'll take no less than nine to set you free. She's Calypso. The thought did cross my mind, but no. Nah, I would have to say that caught me by surprise. So Davy Jones fell in love with Calypso, the goddess of the sea. I believe you're familiar with a person called Calypso. Very much so. She pretended to love me. She betrayed me. Ooh, T, come on, let's go. Is not a fan of the tea? Well, he is spilling it, so... <laughs> you will free my father, and you will guarantee Elizabeth's safety. There is only one price I will accept. Calypso. Murder. How do you murder a goddess? Well, in human form, maybe? Oh, wow, I just thought of that. In the previous movie, those people thought that Jack was a god or something, right? And they were trying to sacrifice him to release him from his flesh or something. If they kill Calypso, the, the Hutia, I mean, does that release her? Well, we know the nine pieces of eight, whatever that bullshit name is. If you get all that, you, you, that's how you can be released as well, right? But what does killing do? There's not been a gathering like this in our lifetime. And I owe them all money. It's <laughs> quite a bit of money there, yo. Present now your pieces of eight. <laughs> pieces of eight chunks. But when the first court met, the brethren were to a one skint broken. So change the name to nine pieces of whatever we happen to have in our pockets at the time. <laughs> oh, yes, that sounds very piratey. Piratey, yep. That's the technical term. Master Regatti, if you will. Oh, I kept it safe for you, just like you said when you gave it to me. Now I need it back. Spyro! 
Oh, well, I've got news for you, Barbosa. He pretty much lost it a few times. So Feng is dead. I was gonna say, she has the peace. But open the door to Beckett. Is Nick Fury now? We must free Calypso. <laughs> Why? Has <laughs> she brought you back to life? Shoot him! <laughs> we release Calypso! Threaten me? I silence you! That's a lovely court right there. What do you expect? They are pirates. This is madness. This is politics. Meanwhile, our enemies are bearing down. It is politics. I see it, Alma. Yeah. Yep, there it is. Kind of looks like a face now. Before it looked like a uh, like crab or something. Or the head of a cobra. Davy Jones! Would you love me if I was anything but what I am? <laughs> I do not love you. You don't? You sure about that? What should always have been mine? <laughs> what? Why did you come? I saw you. I couldn't, <laughs> couldn't hold back. Uh oh. He can't pull it out. Wait, what? He can go through it, but he can't pull it out. I mean, look, I get it. It's hard to pull out, but come on, man. You're letting the team down. <laughs> oh no. My heart will always belong to you. There you go. Finally. So yes, we could hold up here, Will. <laughs> Be careful, Jack Sparrow. We can release Calypso, and we can pray that she will be merciful. I rather doubt it. There's a whole point behind her bringing him back and now... Or, or, and him as well, right? I think so. So she can be free. We must fight to run away. <laughs> An act of war, and this be exactly that, can only be declared by the Pirate King. Hang the court! What happened? It's the Pirate King? Yeah, it's the Pirate King. Is it? I don't know. Yeah, okay, everybody's head down. Okay, so it is a king. This guy kind of looks like him, you know? You're in my way, boy. <laughs> wow. There are that many rules to being a pirate? Okay. I guess pirates just like being free to sail the seas. Not really rebellion against the establishment or is it i don't know maybe not in this movie it shall be the duties of the king to return war parley with shared adversaries parley king since the first court and that's not likely to change not likely oh he's not a king okay he's the code keeper i call for a vote sisumbaji votes for sisumbaji <laughs> elizabeth swan barbosa Villanueva. elizabeth swan what? <laughs> Am I to understand that you will not be keeping to the code then? Oh, don't get this guy angry. I thought he was the king. All right, he's not the king. Kind of looks like Jack Sparrow, though. Kind of. Well, he's dressed like him, I guess. I'll say you, Captain Swan, king of the brethren. Queen. Prepare every vessel that floats. We're at war. And so we shall go to war. That's why he doesn't talk. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Whoa. His mom has a mustache and beard. That's his dad. Do I understand that correctly? I like how he just kept the head of, you know, Jack's mom. I guess he was a fan of his, her head. <laughs> Fuck that one up. <sighs> the hell? Oh my god, it, that, okay. I'm like, there's hair there. That's his mom's head. He kept her head too. If you wish to see its grand architect, look to your left. <laughs> <laughs> it's the monkey for you, Barbosa. Not, not Elizabeth, the actual monkey. I propose an exchange. Will leaves with us, and you can take Jack. That means nothing, right? You can take Jack, like, 
Right? No? Jack's one of the nine pirate lords. You have no right. Well, she's the king. Mm -hmm. Advise your brethren. You can fight and all of you will die, or you cannot fight, in which case I mean most of you. <laughs> we will fight and you will die. So that dude has to be in water always? Davy Jones, I mean. Is that why he's in a bucket? I thought it's supposed to be in the ocean. Black. Oh yes, chapeau mate. Except for this little- They're all back or these are just the two, the good and the bad? Stab the heart. Oh, there's more, okay. Peanut. Man, he loves peanut. Peanuts. Okay. Calypso, I release you from your human bonds. Is that it? The said it must be spoken as if to a lover. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Calypso, I release you from your human bonds. Is that it? No, no, you didn't say it right. Say it, go on. You, you have to say it right. How? Go on, say it, show them. One-eyed pirate. I release you from your human bonds. Wow, that guy actually is important. His eye was important. He said that now. Wow. It's pretty good, you know? The nine of eight have been brought together and that releases her, right? Yeah. Who was it that betrayed you? Near him. Davy Jones. So he betrayed her. It's the other way around. Oh, considering they're all pirates, I'm sure they all betrayed <laughs> each other at some point. Oh my god. So she's gonna be a human humage? A human just huge? <laughs> Is that what I meant to say? Damn girl, look at that. Crabs! Oh my god, there's so many. Yeah, that's killing pretty much all of them. That's if it does not sink the bo uh, ship. I almost said boat. Ooh, is that wooden too? Well, depends. <laughs> oh, I need to be stopped. Now, our final hope has failed us. Has it? Shopping with the clouds. No, she's a goddess. That's her. That's Calypso. Yeah, she's making things happen. No. Still a fight to be had. We've an armada against us, and with the Dutchman, there's no chance. It's only a fool's chance. And a chance, nonetheless. Yeah, they keep bringing her mark on and off, right next to her eyebrow. I like it. I think they should keep it, but it keeps going on and off like. It's a couple of times I've noticed the mark back, and then it's gone. Gentlemen, where's the colors? Yep. The mark is gone again. <laughs> the wind's on our side, boys! That's all we need! <laughs> Let's go! Hoist the colors! King Queen! <laughs> Lizzie! <laughs> this guy looks like a clown. Mm-hmm. She's coming for you, you tentacle. <laughs> She's making it rain, eh? Oh, yeah. Damn, girl, make it rain. <laughs> wow. There's quite a few ships. Quite. Oh, well then. Maelstrom. Maelstrom. Whatever that is. You know what? There's some really good quotes in this one. Dying is the day we're living for. Leave Ridge. There you go. I miss him already. <laughs> yeah, there that he go. is. Mm, the music's amazing in this. Throughout the films, man, I just this the second one too, and the first one was pretty good too. The recoil on that, though. Uh oh. <laughs> this is amazing. Good one. 
I was gonna say something similar. There has been a breakdown in military discipline aboard this vessel. I blame the fish people. Oh. <laughs> fish so people. Fish. These two are going again. Last time they met um, Jack Sparrow, they did the same thing. If there were no fish people, there'd be no need to guard. Yeah, they're really smart, aren't they? We wouldn't need to be here to guard it. There's no chest. You don't need to be here to guard it. You're free to go. Oh, I like the piano. Oh, coming in. Oh, it's so good. Oh, my. Lovely. The key was in his nose. Is that what just happened? A lost valve. A lost valve. His accent is Scottish. It's so good, man. I love it. Wow. Lands on it without hanging on to anything. Wow. That's unbelievable. Here you go. <laughs> These guys don't die though, that's the thing. Oh wow. Will will marry you. Till dead do us part, yeah? It might just happen right here, right now. Like Davy Jones and Tia, or uh, what's her name? Calypso. <laughs> The mark is back. Oh, I like my choice is Barbosa. I want to marry Barbosa. If in doubt, marry Barbosa. That's what they say, right? That's the famous thing. <laughs> what a wedding. <laughs> Lovely. A wedding unlike any other. Well. Yeah. Only on Tuesdays. <laughs> you didn't pronounce them though. It's amazing how. <laughs> Give us a second, bro. Ooh, crossing swords. <laughs> Just do it. And the mark's back. Lovely. It is impressive how the captain was uh, able to hear them in all this madness. These two. We've got incredible balance. They really are used to the ocean. Can't even stand still on land, but on the ship, they're fine. Uh-oh. Tentacles. Cut them off. Shaq's pretty good. Well, spoke too soon. <laughs> They're gonna collide. They're gonna collide. Oh, there he goes. Where did the key go, though? Who's got the keys, keys, keys now? <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Dropped it. We're right on his skull. Finders keepers, let's go. Will Turner turned up. Really? It's gonna kill the monkey, bro. Uh, uh, the monkey's all right. Yeah. It's me. Oh, that's his father. Yeah. He's gone. Yeah. Yeah, he can go through shit. But he still can't pull out, though. <laughs> For which I don't entirely blame him, but... Who needs a sword, man, when you've got wood? Not that kind of wood, alright? This is sent. Oh, that's the one with the key! TJ Tentacles got the key, let's go. Uh-oh. That's a knife. Did you forget? I'm a heartless wretch. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Tell me, William Turner, do you fear death? <laughs> do you fear death? Oh, but if he stabs it, he becomes the new Davy Jones, right? You're a cruel mind, Jack Sparrow. Cruel is a matter of respect. Well, that's true. 
We actually can't. There's no, 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 no. That's right in the heart as well. And she just got married until that do a spark. Told you. You can remember? Yeah. All right. Cool. Why isn't he stabbing the heart? Oh, I think I know why. Okay. They didn't show who did it. Okay, cool. I think I know what's going on. That's what I thought. Because then he becomes immortal, so Will will come back to life. All right. Now you say her name, huh? But that makes Will that that thing, though. Well, not if he does his duty, right? And now he's fine. Pull the sword out, man. <laughs> they just don't pull out, do they? <laughs> He's part of the ship now, eh? Oh, duh! Oh, wow. He got stabbed with his own sword. And it's William Turner. Okay. Oh, wow, that's a parachute. <laughs> Lovely, look at that. Hmm. As long as the monkey survived, I'm happy. Ah, oh, Will Turner. He's gonna turn into a tentacle monster. The Armada's still out there. The endeavor's coming apart at Starport, and I think it's time we embrace that oldest and noblest of pirate traditions. Never actually been one for tradition. <laughs> He's gonna stand and fight this time. Set of running. He expects us to honor our agreement. You're gonna honor it with the cannons. It's nothing personal, Jack. It's just good business. Yeah. Kinda oh, looks like a taxi. The Dutchman! Flying Dutchman! And Will Turner with it, yeah? Is back! Oh, look at that! It kind of looks like a, a mouth of a, you know... It's a three-way again. Oh, everyone's free? <laughs> it's Starro! Baby Starro! Ready on the gun! Pokemon! Yeah. So he only turns into that fish thingy if he doesn't do the, the job, right? Like taking people or whatever. Orders, sir. Orders? Sir. Yeah. A large fry. How about that? With a Diet Coke. Endeavor. None to say? Seems like you couldn't stop talking and giving orders before. What's got your tongue, the monkey? You know what? As much as I hate him, he was a pretty good villain. He had them all on the run, man. Oh, wow. This is quite a scene. The music, everything, just... <laughs> I'm surprised he's still not been touched. That's his ship gone. Wow. Poetic justice. Return away! Why? That's just two ships. They can take him on. Those are the guards. <laughs> You know what? I'm glad those two guards survived. Or soldiers, I suppose. <laughs> There's Daddy Sparrow. Mr. Gibbs, Captain, you may throw my hat if you like. Aye. <laughs> I go and get it. <laughs> I like Gibbs. Order, sir. Double quarter pounder with cheese. <laughs> this ship has a purpose again. And where we are bound. So our boy Legolas is immortal. He's immortal. Does he end up immortal in every single movie? He's like the opposite of Sean Bond. Sean Bean, that is. Boromir from uh, Lord of the Rings. Ned Stark from Game of Thrones. <laughs> he pulled his hair. Jack, 
that would never have worked out between us. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that, darling. <laughs> Once was <is> quite enough. <laughs> oh, look at that. Just like the Pirates logo. I'm going to need the other one. <laughs> it's nearly sunset. Tum tum. It's always belonged to you. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> Happily ever after, immortally ever after. This seems like the ending. Like the ending to the series, but there are more movies after this. Gone. The vanishing of Will Turner, <laughs> not Byers. I promise you, you will not. Jack is back. Is that it? The Black Pearl? <laughs> it's not the size that matter. Is that it there? Yes, there it is. Why is it there? <laughs> it's much larger up close. <laughs> Ah, Gibbs. Any particular reason why my ship is gone? The ship? We're on the ship. <laughs> Jack! The ship's gone! <laughs> and all of this pales to utter insignificance in light of the fact that my ship is once again gone. Savvy? <laughs> Go on. Deserved? There you go. That one was deserved, definitely. Deserved. <laughs> Some of the men don't feel entirely settled about leaving Captain Jack behind. Again. Again. <laughs> to help put an ease to our burden of guilt, so to speak. Is he making an eye for himself? Gents, I give you the fountain of youth. Well then. <laughs> Spara indeed. He's got a little red sparrow on his uh, flag, too. That's lovely. Start small, work your way up. Ah, Elvida. Still got the head, his mum's head. Finally, this damn thing points somewhere in his hand. Rum. <laughs> oh, lovely. Okay. Oh, this music's so good! Any, any scenes at the end? Yes, actually. Ten years later. Oh, that's her son? Yeah. Man, her mark is gone again. So will he be back? <laughs> no? All right. And the mark is back. Lovely. There he is. He is back. Will is back. Just like her mark. That's the end. I believe so. That's the end. Alrighty, my mateys. What a film it was. It's a pretty good one. If you want to see the full length reaction to this, pretty much everything else that I do, link in the description to my Patreon. That's where they're all at. Also, these videos go earlier on Patreon as well. If you're on the shirt, link in the description to that as well. Thank you, everyone, for watching, subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, all that good stuff. And a special shout out to those who have become patrons. Thanks a lot. It means a lot. Wow, I'm so good with words, aren't I? Anyway, so the movie At World's Death or something, was it? At World's End. Okay, it was a pretty good movie. I love the ending of it. I love the uh, the whole sequence there at the end. So amazing. The music was incredible. The scenes were so good. That one scene with uh, Beckett, it was great to see him defeated. But then you see him sort of walk in slow motion. His ship is getting destroyed. The music is just blasting away. So is his ship. And he just cannot believe what's happening as he's walking down the stairs. And then it just all goes gone. Done. It's very well done. I really enjoyed that movie, man. Finally revealed a little bit about Davy Jones and Tia Dalma as well. Their whole love story thing and how oh, she's Calypso. That, you know, I did for a second thing. Who? No, here, here's what happened. So when that dude says Saofang, I think his name was, that Lizzie is 
Calypso. I wasn't too sure, and then I was like, okay, well, who else could it be? And I was like, well, there's Tia Dalma. She could be it, and then she is it. So I kind of was thinking maybe that's an option, but I wasn't sure about it at all. And when they revealed it, I was like, oh, nice. It's a pretty good twist right there, you know? So Davy Jones fell in love with the goddess. Okay, she can make it rain, and boy did she make it rain. She made it rain crabs. <laughs> I love the action sequences, I love, like I said, the music, I love the acting, I like the plot too, I like the, well, backstabbing going on from all ends, really. I loved Beckett's role in it, I hated him because... He's a bad guy, but he was so good though, he was playing everyone and... Well, everyone was playing everyone, let's be honest. And then Lizzie becomes the king, which is just brilliant. The way they get married, Will and Lizzie, that was really funny, but also kind of cool, you know, at the same time. We see they have a child there at the end as well, Will Turner has been brought back to life. Jack sacrifices. That's another thing. We're seeing sacrifice from Jack a couple of times now. He's becoming a bit more selfless. He's becoming a bit less selfful. <laughs> oh boy. Do you know what I mean? And it's it's great to watch. These characters are developing so much. That's what I said about the second movie is that we get to see these characters develop so much. And that's why I like the second movie so much. And I like this movie a lot as well. We, we got to see Norrington's Redemption, Norrington, no more. He's yes Rington now. Finally gets to kiss Lizzie as well. And uh, yeah, the triangle is complete now. She's kissed pretty much all, the, uh, all of those three dudes now, right? Norrington, Jack Sparrow, and also Will Turner, obviously. Her dad dies. She has, she has developed the most because she was this innocent damsel in distress, like they say, and... Oh, she is that no more. She's the king now. King of the North. Bend the knee, John. Jack Sparrow. <laughs> I thought it was kind of funny how Will Turner becomes immortal. Because, you know, he's an elf in uh, Lord of the Rings. He's immortal. So, yeah. Orlando. <laughs> from Star Wars. Now. Orlando seems to bloom, huh? Oh, boy. I'm so funny. <laughs> but, yeah. Orlando Bloom is kind of like the opposite of Sean Bon. As in how Sean Bond dies and everything he's in, and Orlando Bloom is immortal and everything he's in. And by everything, I just mean the two things that I've seen him in. <laughs> and that's it. But that is everything to me, though, you know? <laughs> Even if it is just two. But yeah, it was a pretty fun movie, a brilliant movie. I enjoyed it a lot. The ending was spectacular. For a second there, it looked like when they're showing us will and elizabeth it felt like this is it that's it that's the end but then they continue it we see a couple more scenes and then you're like oh no okay this is not the end there's gonna be more and well we know there is more there's a couple of movies after this as well which i will be watching very soon so so far how do i rank these movies i would still say the second movie is my favorite uh, that's the one that i enjoyed the most and i would put the first movie then at number two and this one i'd put at number three so this one i enjoyed the least but that doesn't mean i didn't enjoy it i enjoyed it a lot just not as much as the first two the first two was enjoyed quite a lot now i will say this the ending to this one feel like this is kind of similar to star wars the original trilogy the first movie was amazing second movie was spectacular and the third movie was pretty good but not as good as the the second but similar in the sense that this third movie return of the jedi had such an amazing ending the whole sequence at the end was so good. The action, everything was amazing, right? And that's kind of what is happening here as well. The ending alone in this movie was so good. They were just connecting everything. They were wrapping it all up. All this buildup from all three movies. They just brought it all together. So that was just, you know, it was it was good. And that's what happened in the Star Wars movies as well. And that's why I like the ending of that one so much. Because it was satisfying, right? All this buildup, all this... Uh, planning and work that we've been doing towards these goals well we've achieved them you know and that's always satisfying so in that sense i loved it but yeah that's pretty much all i have to say about the movie thank you for watching once again a special shout out to the patrons i appreciate you for putting your support behind me it means a lot to me trust me it does for a small channel like myself oh man you have no idea how much it means to me that you guys are putting your support behind me so thank you so very much all of you any and all support is very much appreciated. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, have a nice.